Alright YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm glad for having you tune in. In this video, I want to get into the best pen tool exercises in Photoshop for Roblox graphic design. Um, this applies to just basically anything. Um, UI, logos, you can use pen tool for uh, creating effects in um, thumbnails and renders and such. So, so I just want to get into some ways you could practice your pencil and refine your skill so you could get more fluent using the pencil. Alright, so first things first, let's get into the basics. So, if you go over here, here's your pencil. Alright, and if you take a look at the top bar, this is what we're going to focus on. Um, I have mine set to shape right now, so let's go to path and take a look at what we could do. So if we go down here and hit new layer, we're going to change our foreground color to black and we can start with the pen tool. So as we know, if you click and if you click on another point, it's going to make a path because we have a set on path, right? So let's make a basic shape. Uh, there we go. So you could connect a shape and if you go up to the top bar and if you hit shape, it will create the shape and fill it with your foreground color. So we're going to hit shape. As you can see, we're going to go back to our move tool. And sometimes if you still have this uh, blue outline, if you want to hide it, all you got to do is hit control shift H on your keyboard. And this will hide the line for you. As you can see. But usually just switching back to your move tool should do the job. So here is our basic shape we have created. Um, I'm going to control T. I'm just going to place it somewhere so it's not as large. Alright, let's go back to our pencil. We're still using path. Okay, so make a new layer. Now we're going to practice some curves. So if you click, make a point. So as we click on our second point, we're just going to drag. And as you can see, this will make a curve. Now we're going to click on our third point. And as you watch and see, once we click, this continues the curvature. Right, if it has this... Uh, long line it continues the curvature so if we click here it will curve like this so you're probably asking um what if i want to make a straight line with no curve so what you want to do is you want to hit alt so you want to hold down on alt on your keyboard and you want to click on this blue square so once you click on it this will completely reset the curvature and the next um path you create will be completely straight as you can see unless you choose to make a curve like that you can hold alt click reset the curvature and just like this you could choose to create um, very complex shapes you go up here down here you hit shape as you can see we have a shape like this we can change the color there we go and we're just going to take this and we're just going to move it somewhere else. Alright, let's create a new layer. Let's go back to our pencil. And right now, uh, let's change it from path to shape. And if we take a look up here, I have my fill turned on. If you select this option, this is the solid color option. This one is to turn it off. This is gradient. And this one is pattern. So I have this on solid stroke is off i will explain what stroke is later this is the stroke radius these are um, stroke options which we have it off anyways so it doesn't matter so with shape um you could create any shape and it will instantly fill it in without having to hit shape like you would in path as you can see i'm just going to undo so uh let's create shape uh can make it like a shield shape so reset the curvature oops here we go over here like this and like this and then we could use our ruler we could go down here as you can see reset the curve i'm just going to click back up and we'll go to remove tool Control j to copy Control c to bring up the free transform and if you right click we're going to hit flip horizontal to flip the shape, hit enter, and we can take the shape, and we're going to hold shift while we drag this, so it goes, uh, it's locked into the axis, we can take these, and it's a bit too wide, so condense it like that, right, and we can take these two, right click, and let's go to merge shapes, like that, now, 
let's use our pencil and create some highlights so let's change our shield to a gray color and we're going to make a new layer now we're going to use our pencil all right and let's create some shadows so on our layer one we're going to right click let's go to create clipping mask this will clip this layer into uh, our shield shape our color is going to be black and we're just going to click up here i'm going to click and drag right over here reset the curvature we're just going to bring it back around just like that and as you can see we have a shadow all right and we're going to lower the opacity as you can see um same thing we use this for highlights as well so color is going to be white go right over here alt click and go over here there we go uh, I'm going to turn off the background so we can see a lot better and as you can see we have some highlights so that's just a basic uh, a basic explanation of how to use a pen tool if you want a more detailed guide make sure to leave a comment down below and we can do some specific tutorials all right so now let's get into the main topic of this video which is some basic pen tool exercises you could use to refine your your paths and help you practice your shapes so let's get right into it all right so the first website i have is this uh website called bezier.method.ac and here you can practice your pencil as you can see um, there's a, a guide here a little game so if you click click right here and one more node there we go and you move on to the next step and from here it wants you to hold shift so you can click hold shift click down here third point right here as well as here Finish your shape, and um, from here, it wants you to click and drag, just like that. And it wants you to go up here to make the circle shape. There we go. Click over here. And let's go down here. There we go. And just make sure we finish the circle. And now it wants you to practice making this heart. And as you can see, it teaches you exactly how you should approach it. Uh, start on this heart. We're just going to drag as it explains. And we're going to hold Alt. We're going to move this up. And from here, we're going to drag like that. We're going to hold Alt. Move this up. And from here we could finish our shape and there is our heart shape now here's the car so this is basically a website a game you can use to practice your pencil as you can see it's very helpful so uh with some free time just play this game so this is one exercise you could use to practice your pencil all right now we are back to photoshop and something else we could do is if we type out some text just got some basic text let's set our text and we're going to change the color to a blue so make a new layer click and we're going to go for right click create clipping mask as you can see we're going to take a pencil on shape and for fill um just go for black and how you could practice is typing out different letters and you could use a pencil to practice creating shadows so for the t we want something like you go click up here we click approximately over here kind of drag right and go over here click down here make a different point this one drag and finish it right over here and go around Control shift x to get rid of the uh, outline and we can turn this to overlay as you can see so we got a shadow for the letter t if we make a new layer i'm just going to quick clip um, the layer in we can change our color to white now we can use the white color and we can make a highlight just like that there we go lower the opacity and as you can see, we have some very quick shadows and highlights onto our T. And 
and just like that we have a uh, very easy pattern all right so yeah that's going to be it for this video that's two very quick pencil exercises you could use to practice if you want us to make more and make a part two of this video make sure to leave a comment down below and with that being said make sure to subscribe leave a like and i will see you all next time